There was a lot of speculation that Image Comics and Skybound under Robert Kirkman were getting the licenses to G.I. Joe and Hasbro. And there were a few other rumors in there because of some Twitter posts. It turns out pretty much all of it was right. I couldn't be more excited. And I wanted to geek out with my buddy Jim from Weird Science. How you doing, Jim? Oh, great, Wes. Thanks for having me on. Little time to geek out. Did this give you a comic book stiffy? Because I've been like half cocked for at least 12 hours now since <laughs> I read the article. I am full wood. And, and as Absolutely. you know, I've, I've revealed to you that I do go commando. So that, that could be a problem for some. But yeah, I, I've been excited about this for a while. I'll get into that once, once you introduce this stuff. But it kind of did annoy me how this was spoiled. Let's get into the details that we do have. Transformers and G.I. Joe now share the Energon universe. Skybound and Hasbro have partnered to create this shared universe. With Skybound founder and writer Robert Kirkman serving as its showrunner, the Energon universe kicked off with the release of Kirkman's Void Rivals number 1, which features a surprise appearance from the Transformer Jetfire towards the end. Along with Void Rivals, the Energon universe will be home to a new interconnected comic series from both the Transformers and G.I. Joe franchises. I haven't been excited for any G.I. Joe or Transformers comics basically in like nine years now, and I am very excited for this. So am I. And, and you're right. I mean, the idea of these Transformers comics, if you get Danny Lore on a book, you know there's trouble. And that's kind of the stuff that they've been doing. And I even have my buddy that I do my DC Comics podcast with. He's a huge Transformers, and he's in like chat groups like a nerd and things like <laughs> people are going nuts. I mean, they love this whole deal because nobody's been excited about the comics in quite some time. And it sounds like Robert Kirkman is an enormous fan of the franchises. So he's going to put his best foot forward and make sure that these are actually done some justice after all the dirty that's been done to him from IDW. I think they probably could have found a better name than the Energon universe, maybe the Hasbro universe or the Hero universe, but whatever. The name is stupid, but the concept just sounds badass. And I think Kirkman is going to be the right man to lead the ship. Yeah, and I'm glad even without it just being Kirkman, because that's awesome, but just having somebody that is a fan and controlling it and making sure things work right, that's what they need right now. And to have an actual you know, combined universe, it's awesome. I I'm pumped up. But the news only gets better from there, especially this. This is the best news about it. This is why I'm the most excited, Jim, and I can't wait to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Transformers launches with its first issue in October, written and illustrated by Daniel Warren Johnson. The series yep. focuses on both the Autobots and Decepticons crash landing on Earth, continuing their war there while the fate of Cybertron is unknown. To my readers, retailers, and fellow Transformer fans, get ready. I've only been drawing Optimus Prime and the rest of this amazing cast since I was in first grade, said Daniel Warren Johnson. This is a dream project for me, and I'm so glad to be adding a new chapter to the decades-long celebration of robots turning into cars. One of the things we don't really get a whole lot within comic books lately, and it's something I definitely laud Daniel Warren Johnson for, is you don't get a, like a sense of, of love for the characters, a sense mm -hmm. like that the, that the writer, the illustrator, really bought into what the into the story that you're telling and you absolutely get that with something like a beta ray bill which is a really cool character no doubt awesome thor related character within the marvel comics universe they hadn't really done anything with him for years upon years and when you read that beta ray bill miniseries and you know the guy that did that is now going to be working on optimus prime and bumblebee and all the really cool uh characters within the the transformers universe i personally as a transformers fan and as a guy with an eight-year-old that is a Transformers a holic or whatever, he's absolutely addicted to him. I couldn't be more excited about this to actually get to share it with my kid. I haven't been able to read a Transformers comic book with my child for like four or five years since he's been able to do that because they've all been like not for kids. No, and really they also because you don't want to get in trouble for child abuse because they've sucked. <laughs> and I'm serious. I mean, they've been really, really bad. And so when you end up hearing this and like you said you know that if he is agreed to do this it's not for a paycheck it's because he loves it and i it goes all the way through even like we said about robert kirkman the guy whether or not he's rubbed people the wrong way down the line or whatnot he does some quality stuff i mean the stuff that he does is really good and him overseeing this like you said i think that it's just plain simple we're gonna get classic feeling transformers and not just a redo but we're gonna it, it's gonna feel right it's gonna end up going and I, i'm i think that it's gonna be really really good when optimus prime is in the comic book speaking you're gonna hear the dude from the cartoon 
in the character's voice because he gets that stuff. And I'm just uh, like, I'm, I'm over the moon about this. And thank you so much to Robert Kirkman for taking Transformers seriously and going out there and finding the best writer artist in all of comic books to work on a property, which a lot of people don't even really associate with comic books anymore. It's just toys yeah. and movies. But the Autobots and the Decepticons were fleshed out in comic books. And, uh, you know, it's just it's the best case scenario in all this. And he definitely he's spending some money and I'll give Skybound that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I thank you. And and really, I want to kind of thank them, but then get mad at, say, Bleeding Cool, because this could have been, it, it was set up to be a surprise. And Oh, the big uh, Oh, my God. And the thing is, you don't get that sort of thing anymore. And that, to me, shows you. And some people were criticizing, oh, my God, if you announced it beforehand, had it on the cover. But that makes me think that this is special to them. And Robert Kirkman wanted to really get people that excited. I, I'm not even saying it's, it's like an answer anti you know public campaign type thing because you're actually not telling and i think that that did show that they they want to do something special and unfortunately it was it was uh spoiled by bleeding cool but you know that's what they do but still it's it's awesome and i i just i have already had more people ask me about it than i've ever heard anybody ask me anything about transformers because nobody would really mention transformers and i really hope that it also goes down the line that daniel warren johnson who me and you love i think a lot of people love that people will get into him as well and maybe some of the other things that he's done will kind of explode but we are also getting some gi joe stuff mm -hmm. not quite as exciting as daniel warren johnson on transformers but still pretty exciting definitely several levels up from what they were doing over at idw the G.I. Joe side of the Energon universe gets its first title in December. Duke, written by Joshua Williamson. Duke sees the titular character investigate the Transformers' arrival on Earth and is the first of four G.I. Joe limited series within the Energon universe. The second is Cobra Commander in January 2024, also written by Josh Williamson. Details for Cobra Commander reveal the evil Cobra organization does not yet exist in the Energon universe, but one man has sinister plans for the alien substance called Energon. What do you think about this idea? It almost reminds me of what IDW did with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, several years ago when they basically just restarted the franchise, even though there, there had been several iterations, where they're, they're taking the Energon universe and building it from the ground up with characters that we know, but they're going to build it out in new ways. I think it's actually yeah. a pretty good idea. I think it's a great idea. I mean, why go from what you had, like you said, if, if something had failed or something wasn't that great, start again and also start again with you know the idea of how you're going to have this synergy get the gi joe transformers together in an expanded skybound universe it makes sense i would start like that i don't think that people are going to be upset like oh my god my continuity of that and they, i think that everybody's going to use this as a jumping on point and get excited that i'm excited i am and i'm glad that they are just starting anew so we can get rid of all the nonsense and go forward with stuff that's really good the only thing that could get me more excited about all this news seriously jib yeah is if Daniel warren johnson writes and illustrates the snake eyes miniseries yeah and then i would be so far over the moon you wouldn't be able to see it. and it's funny when you get those miniseries announced as i'm going down the thing oh that'll be later like and but it it did make me kind of smile like oh i wonder who's going to do that i'm wondering if joshua williamson will be doing all those i hope not not just a diss on him but if daniel warren johnson does the snake eyes That'd be pretty, pretty cool. I mean, he I would is even awesome. take a Robert Kirkman Snake Eyes series, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I would too. Uh, there's a couple other people that I was thinking of. Boy, we could get them in and whatnot. But Ram one v? of the things, no, not Ram V. Oh. Uh, Ram V, <laughs> that, it would be fine, except one little story. It'd be like them going out to get, you know, one little energy. Snake Eyes cube. contemplating his oh, life. Oh my gosh, he's... yes. It would take. Four. What is the meaning of all of it? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh my goodness. But there are some other writers. Now, just as an aside, if we're going to go dream projects, I kind of wish that you'd get, say, an Ed Pisker on here and do like a Transformers grand design type deal. Then I'd be real pumped. That's just me. And I don't know why I thought of that. But one of the things that when I was talking about this being revealed, I actually got a review copy of it like a month ago. And I had to keep void, it, uh, void rivals and yeah. I had to keep it tight. And actually it was sent to me by what it seemed to be Robert Kirkman, whether it was or wasn't, but he ended up 
you know, saying don't. But he was so excited and said, when you get to the end, let me know what you thought. And I wrote back. I'm like, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be huge. And yeah, he's pumped. He's he didn't really send pumped. Him a picture of you like <laughs> jumping out, in like, the air, half stag with with half flag with your pants on. No, I did you not. I, I end up where I, I sent him, you know, some crazy looks of me and some cosplay that we won't talk about. No, I, I didn't go that far, but he did seem very interested. What do you think? Do you think people will be excited? I'm like, you're asking yes. me. I mean, you know, people are going to be excited, but he seemed really fired up about it. And so that gets me excited as well. And it does seem that they're really into this and he is handpicking things like that. So I love the idea that they only announce a couple of these mini series because it gets nerds like us, like who maybe we'll get this, but Daniel Warren Johnson, again, I can't go on enough about, I will read anything now that he does. He's become one of the must reads for me. And to have this is, is just so awesome. This is the best news I've heard about us mainstream comics in like at least a year, probably a couple of years. I, yeah. I can't think of anything that actually tops. It. I, I actually, I'm with stuff you. That I love with creators that I that I actually respect for the most part. And you know what? It, it shows you. And if you go on Twitter or wherever, it shows you that people they're not desperate for bad news. They're not desperate for shit. They're desperate for stuff they could get excited about. And when you do get that, you see people come together and they're so excited. And this is one of those things that could go with that because of how loved the the franchise is, or both franchises, but especially you know, older nerds like us that have gone through a lot of the stages of it and unfortunately see that it's lost its way a bit. So I, I'm really, you know, fired up. So are you the one that leaked the information about Void? No, I was so mad. You? No, I what I I ended up sitting there. I'm like, I could have leaked this. I could have been, you know, <laughs> Mr. Big. Uh, no, I I could actually have been a good video. I actually what I did was I did tell some people Oh, hey, wait till this comes out. You might want to look at it. And then when it came oh, out, you know, you I didn't tell him why. No. And and oh. the one the guy I said, I do a podcast, our main DC Comics podcast with a huge Transformers fan. I wanted him to read the issue because I wanted to see his reaction to it. And that jerk wouldn't read it. I kept saying, I can't spoil it, but you'll like it. Well, or, he only reads DC. So I'm like, come on. No, no. He never read it. He still hasn't. Now it's spoiled. So it's not even good. But he's he's actually even excited about it because he does love the Transformers. It's even goes beyond Transformers and G.I. Joe, I think. And that's what's so perfect about it. They are big enough that even if you're not into either or whatnot, you still will probably give this a shot because of what it is. And you said there, maybe this will be the way that we finally see in Western comics, the idea of grabbing people who are fans of the toys, the films, and the like all of them go in if they do it right. Maybe, you know, and I think that Robert Kirkman does things right. So I think that we might get a chance to get a blueprint of what maybe these other companies should do. Robert Kirkman is certainly one of the most influential people in modern American comic books, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, he used to work for Marvel Comics. He actually did some zombie comics for Marvel and it didn't go very well. In fact, Robert Kirkman talks in detail about how badly he was treated at Marvel Comics, specifically by Joe Quesada. And I talk about it here in this video. If you haven't seen this, definitely check it out right now. There's also a link in the video description.